Thanks for joining us on a very busy Wednesday night. We begin tonight with a sudden change that will affect thousands of travelers coming into Canada. Our colleagues at Radio Canada have learned Ottawa is reimposing visa requirements for many Mexican visitors. And according to senior government sources, we can tell you it will take effect at 11.30 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. Kate McKenna now with details on the changes, who will be impacted and what's behind it all. Canada is about to reimpose a visa requirement on Mexicans for the first time since 2016. Concerned that Mexican nationals are increasingly using Canada as a backdoor entrance into the United States. We have an obligation to secure our borders. Quebec's premier also called on the government to act. I'm asking Mr. Trudeau to uh, put again in place a visa for the Mexican. Saying the province is struggling to integrate a sharp rise in Mexican asylum seekers arriving at the Montreal airport. It is incredibly disappointing because it is a pattern, uh, ongoing pattern of erosions of ability uh, of human beings to come into Canada and seek asylum. Senior government sources say the new visa system will be less restrictive than the rules in place during the Harper government. A source says the visa requirement will affect about 40% of Mexican travelers and take effect at 11.30 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. There will be exemptions for people with work and study visas, including temporary foreign workers, and for Mexicans who held Canadian or American visas in the last 10 years. As for how it'll work, it'll take four to six weeks to get a visa, it'll require biometrics, and the visa will last 10 years, allowing people to stay a maximum of six months at a time. Even before Ottawa makes it official, Mexico's president is already expressing his disappointment. Threatening to boycott the Three Amigos summit this year. And Canada's tourism industry also warns this move could come with a cost. Only in 2023, uh, Mexicans um, contributed about $754 million to our visitor economy. And that is a significant amount that we want to uh, keep on the books and not um, see it go away because of this new announcement.